Hey, welcome back to another exciting episode of Gill Skills. Today we're going to be reaching out to the scrapping gods on all hailing frequencies because today we're going to be micro scrapping a Toyota head unit or otherwise known as a radio. Stay tuned for watching this episode. What? Stay tuned for this exciting episode of Gill Skills. That's better, Bob. All right, guys, for those of you that have been around for a while, you know what to do. But for those of you that are new to the channel, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. It would mean the world to the YouTube algorithm. It would mean the world to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated by other Bob, too. You betcha. All right. First things first. Let's identify some screw witch. We got the two screws there. We got the two screws there, which mount the head unit in there. We got a whole bunch of screws on the sides as well. Let me grab, where's my screw gun? Where is my screw gun? No, seriously, where is it? I, come on now, where is my screw gun? Honest, oh, right in front of my face. That's the last place I usually look. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Guys, I forgot something. We gotta clear the scoreboard. Hold on just a second. Out you go. Out you go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, all right. We be empty. Let's go ahead and get started with these screws, shall we? Welcome to another episode of Kill Skills, ladies and gentlemen. Now, earlier, it sounded like Bob was having a little trouble with his screws. But if you rewind and listen to that again, you might think he was having a bad toilet experience. Just trying to feel if there's any secret screws anywhere. All right. Start taking apart the front. Well, how about that? Got an interesting board there, some tiny screws. I'll get those off in a minute here. Hmm, interesting. I guess that's where the CD, DVD, CD thingy goes. And maybe this here was designed at some point to take like a hard drive or something, because there's a that's a pretty big space, you know, just to be empty like that. So I don't know. You guys tell me. Tell me! So before we dig into that any further, let's go ahead and take all of these screws off. I want to get this board separated from the plastic so that we can move on. Let me get a tiny screwdriver. Ah, see. Ugh. Thought I was going to need a precision screwdriver for a second. Those are tiny ass screws. Screw you. Um, inadequate. Screw you. This is nothing but, uh, oops, plastic. So I'll just uh, put that over there for now. See those knobs? I believe those knobs are all plastic. Oh yeah, plastic. Plastico. Spaghetti-o, plastio, whatever. Oh, you ready? Rubber, 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 rubber. Interesting. Okay, so you tell me what you guys think this is. I think this, I don't know if this, this could qualify as a mid-grade board. What do you think, guys? Either way, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. We got more screws. We got screws inside screws. Inception of screws. Let's get the screws, guys. This piece right here might not be magnetic. Never mind, I lied. It doesn't have a hard pull, so chances are it's probably stainless steel. Yeah, I'll leave it separated. I'm gonna leave it separated. All right, this is just all all metal there. All metal, 
my, oh my, oh my, oh. I'll put that over there. Uh, uh, what else we got going on here? Oh, we missed a screw over here. We got one more hidden inside there. There we go. Metal. Oh no! I lost the screw! Oh, oh, that's terrible. Darn it! Bob's monkey farm bench is going to be replaced with something better soon. Oh, no, nope, there it is, there it is. I got it, I got it. I thought it was gone. It was a goner. Uh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Oh, I missed two screws here. Look, they just keep popping up, guys. Two screws right there. Let's get them. Nice. I think we got some cast aluminum here. Most uh, head units have these as heat sinks to cool down the stereos when they get nice and hot. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Uh, we got a nice little copper bundle there. I'm going to separate that from the board. It takes me just a second or two to get the, you know, the copper wire out of it. And why not? Other Bob will tell you nine times out of ten, having copper is better than having no copper at all. How was my impersonation of Other Bob? Was it okay? Other Bob, let me know what you think. You can't be me, Bob. Okay, I'll work on it. Jeez. Okay. Hmm. Looks like this might come off. I don't know if this piece is aluminum or not, but looks like it might come off. Let's get it. It's that time of year, guys. Allergies. Messing with me big time. Allergies. Let's see if the magnet messes with this thing. It's aluminum! All right. The rest is pretty much part of the board, soldered onto the board there. So I would definitely consider that a mid-grade board or perhaps, I don't know, could be a high-grade board. I, don't, I really don't know. You guys tell me. But I see a lot of goodies on there. More screws. Uh, this thing is kind of like an onion. It's got its layers, that's for sure. So we got four screws. Let me go ahead and get those out. Okay. Just had to be sure. <laughs> all right. Put all that stuff in there. Like so. All right. We're just about done here. We got two screws there. Let me go ahead and get those. There's another nice board. Let's see, is there gold on these connectors? Yep, there's gold on them there connectors, which is awesome. It ain't worth much, but it's pretty cool. All right, so now we're getting into some of the more tedious stuff here. These screws are pretty small, but I'm gonna do my best to take them apart because I want this board right here. board more metal or ferrous metal I should say stuff that sticks to magnet day a magnet 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 day a magnet all right I'll stop impersonating you other Bob get me a decongestant will you some allergy medication it's in the bathroom no that's the x lax Other Bob. Allergy medication. 
No other Bob. That's a tranquilizer. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Other Bob apparently doesn't know what antidepressants look like. <laughs> You're still obviously tranked because you asked for allergy medication. <laughs> okay, let's continue. more screws that I can see that we need to get off. All right. I do see some screws. Let's go ahead and get those. Uh. All right. More ferrous. So, uh, this is the motor, one of the motors that uh, brings in and lets out the uh, CD, DVD, that's a motor, that fell out, that's plastic, another screw. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Okay, how is that being held in place? Am I missing something? Oh, I am. There's a, there's a screw, literally, right there. There we go, yay. Got some ribbons. It's a nice little board. Yes, I like it. Right, we got a little plastic here. And we don't have to separate it, but it took me just two seconds. There's some plastic on here, but this is going in shreds, so honestly, I could care less. All right, what do we got left here? We got some ribbon. I'm gonna take those ribbons out, put them over here. We got another motor here. We got another motor here. And this here is the CD reader. All right, let's go ahead and get them out. Whatever that is, that's long gone. Looks like there might be two brass pieces, one here and one here. I'm gonna see if I can get those out. <coughs> Plastico. Plastico. This piece right here is stainless steel -o. I bet you one of those probably went flying somewhere. Stainless steel clip. Let's see if they'll play ball. See if I can get those out. Plastic. Two brass pieces. Are they really brass? Yep, they are. They don't stick to a magnet. Yeah, smorgasbord of goodies on this thing. That's pretty darn cool. I'm, I'll try to get that one right there. It's tiny, but I might be able to get it. I got it. Holy crap. Holy crap, I got it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Okay, the rest of this is Ferris. Put that there. Not much left. Got another stainless steel piece here. Put that there. Got a tiny screw. That screw looking thing on the inside there, that I believe is brass. no pull. I want to be 100% sure it's brass colored and whatnot, which is all well and good, but I've had these sort of things not be brass before. Quick filing could uh, resolve that. Looks like it looks like it is indeed brass, so I'll put that with the other brass. 
All right. We got two more screws here. All right. All right, there's another motor. Plastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the bounty for micro scrapping a Toyota radio headset. Yayos! First things first, we got all this ferrous metal, as you can see right here, from the scrappy shell, if you will. And of course, if you scroll down here, you can also see all the screws and some of the springs and fun stuff that was in there. We got some ribbon wire with some gold contacts at the very end that I will harvest at a later time. We've also got some motors that I will put in the motor bin. We actually got some brass out of this one, ladies and gentlemen. I was kind of surprised with this one, but we do have some brass, and there it is. We've got the optical CD reader, and we've got three boards, as you can plainly see here, which uh, is pretty darn exciting. We got some aluminum out of the deal as well, which is fan diddly tastic. And of course, last, it wasn't too bad this time around, but we did have a decent amount of plastic on this headset. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a Toyota headset decommissioned, deassembled, micro scrapped, all that fun stuff. If you like what you've seen here, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you've already done so, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next time, have a scrap happy day.